I'm Beauties, I'm Yulia, I'm your virtual beauty therapist. Today I'm going to unbox this amazing, huge box that Style Caribbean has very kindly sent me. The products inside, if you decide to buy them one by one, will cost you around $400. So the deal is amazing from point of view of budget, but are the products really good? Now, obviously I'm not blind, I have seen this box in my feed in social media, but I decided I'm not going to check what exactly is inside, on which number and so on, so that I can unbox it and be excited as I am right now. But I'm quite sure quite a few of the products I have already reviewed, so I will add links to products that I have already reviewed, whether for here in YouTube or Instagram and TikTok if you want to get more details because there's a lot of products here and I don't want to do a super long video. As for the box itself, I'm going to reuse it because my daughter saw it, it's super colorful and purple, so I have promised to empty it and give it to her to make a dollhouse, which I think is also quite good because you can reuse this packaging as it's amazing and if you have children they will certainly appreciate it. So this is how the box looks like, you open and you have all of these. I'm getting too excited. So I will start opening them and let you know shorter version what is inside and what is my opinion about the products, what I have heard and obviously I have tried them before. Number one we go kind of okay so i know this product i have not tried it myself but i'm aware of it so i'm very excited to try it this is their rosemary cleanser so this one is more suitable for oily and combination skin simply because it contains uh, beta hydroxy acid so i think it is below 0.5 percent it's suitable for everyday use but as my skin is dry i don't think i will be using this on a daily basis but i do like salicylic acid because sometimes my skin gets a little bit bumpy and it's bumpy and dry so i can't really use you know patches or anything like this but using salicylic acid really helps to smooth the texture of my skin so this is going to be tried right next to it we have number two this ooh, how harm wonder so this is one of their sun blocks i haven't tried also these one i know they have two options for this one so this is black rice moisture air fit daily sunscreen this is non-greasy velvet finish certainly sounds amazing more so the weather is getting warmer and warmer so from this description i will suggest that this very likely will be suitable even for combo and oily skin, but I will let you know once when I try it. Off we go with number three. Ooh, okay. So I don't know this product. I have heard about this brand, so I cannot tell you much about it. This is Perfect Layering Sun Lotion, light but strong. So this is SPF 50 with high PA protection as well very excited to try this one i'm a bit concerned because i can see some flowers here on the packaging so i will see if it has strong scent if there's any essential oils but i'm very excited to try it and yes another sunblock number four we have all clean balm so this is a mini of Ha of hamish balm this is i think mandarin or tangerine you can call it as you want to um yeah mandarin so i actually had this balm and i do like it i like it but with a little i don't know i'm not really sure then under five we have yay okay so this is round lab and this is their Dr. Toner, this is 100 ml, so this is plenty for testing purposes. I haven't tried it myself, heard great things about it, so this should be light but yet moisturizing, soothing, great for the summer. Once again, just put this one underneath your sunblock for extra hydration. And sounds fantastic, I'm very excited about that one. And number six, mix soon. So this is, this is their Beam Essence 
so this is the product that everyone is saying will give you this glass skin type of finish you can see a little bit stripy kind of a like um snail texture so i'm very happy to get this one and to try it myself then we have the cobalt this product i actually have tried it in the past it is very light very pleasant however what i disliked was the fact that it smelled very flowery so it was a little bit too strong for me hence the fact that i have tried it however i gifted it to someone who very much enjoys and likes it but it is simply not a product for me so i think this one might go for a giveaway and then the last one on this side we have a cleanser so this is skin food and this is their egg cleansing foam haven't tried it myself i'm always a little bit worried when we when i see a foam just because my skin is dry but do not get me wrong i have tried quite a few foams that are suitable even for dry and sensitive skin like myself so i sure hope this is one of them number nine is lip product this is toy then sold in lip essence haven't tried it very excited to do so to be fair recently i have i have been getting quite a few different lip products like extra lip care and i think i might be i i plan to do a video about them so that i can give a bit more details about them review them individually and obviously compare them and let you know what, which one i think is the best so this is going to be included next one another lip product Propolis Lip Serum and this is CMP. Have seen this one as well. Very viral product. Very excited to try it. So you can't wait for a review. Certainly, I'm going to give it to you. Then we have number eleven. This is a travel size. This is Belief. Believe in truth. This is numero ten essence. Now this one, I think it was you apply it within ten seconds. It all has been absorbed so when i see something like this usually my question is is there any alcohol i i don't know i'll have to check but i will let you know then we have 12 heart leaf spot pads calming touch by a bit and listen i actually have this one I have it and I'm using it. I, I like it. It's great. They have two different sides. So one, you can uh, just gently exfoliate the skin. The other side is very smooth. If you want, you can place them on the face and just walk around like extra care, like a mask. This is more for combination kind of a skin. So it's not something that I will be using on a daily basis, but from point of view of very gentle exfoliation with the ingredients and the fact that it has heart leaf, which is great to soothe the skin. This is a great product, very happy to get it again. 13. Well, this is only one of my favorite sunblocks. I have used probably three different cubes of this one. So this is going to be used once again. This is one of the best SPFs that you can find i think personally on the market so this is skin 1004 the centella sunblock it comes with with a pump but it is a tube very light very easy to apply zero residue zero irritation absolutely can recommend it for all skin types so love it great product then we go with access y dark spot correcting glow serum I have this one as well so this is a very nice light more like a kavivi jelly kind of a serum it comes in a tube it is brightening but it is not aggressive so if you have sensitive skin this is a great option from point of view of ingredients i think there was five percent niacinamide so you get the brightening you have great for sensitive skin you have it great because it is helping to balance the sebum production as well so very gentle yet effective working to even up the skin tone recommended then we have okay pyung kan kyu so this is let me just see this is the toner this is the ultimate calming solution toner this is a product that i had 
However, this is another one that I have gifted away. And the reason is because the brand used essential oils. Plus also I just did from point of view of benefits, it's more targeting breakout prone skin. So it will be for oily and combination kind of skin, which is not mine, don't get me wrong. And then because I don't really like, especially in leave on products, essential oils, I wasn't the huge fan of the herbaly kind of a scent, I decided to give it away. So I have gifted it. It is not for me, but I'm not saying it's the worst kind of products. It's just not ideal for my dry and sensitive skin and my personal preferences. Then we go 16. This is another one I have. I have this mascara. I have a backup of this mascara. And now I have a backup of the backup of my mascara. So this is Dialism. This is Hamish mascara. It is indeed smudge proof mascara. It is not waterproof, but you will not look like panda with this one. You don't get little particles down here. So it is long lasting, gentle, zero irritation when I have used it. And it does work very nicely for the lashes themselves. And then the last product we have Cosrx. So this is the Retinol 0.1. Have not tried it. Love the brand and I'm very excited to try it. So this will be retinol, which is suitable for beginners. This was everything here. My personal opinion is that obviously I do have products that I have tried and were not for me. I have products that I have not tried and I have products that will be kept for backup, products that will be <laughs> gifted away and probably a giveaway but I have to say that in general I think this box is definitely worth it because you have everything you have cleansers you have toners you have sunblocks you have lip care you have um, different serums as well absolutely worth it so yeah use the link in bio and get your lovely box Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. This was my honest opinion about those products. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel, follow me on social media, TikTok and Instagram, and I'll see you again.